Pauaki Pueblo is a place that has survived. When the Spanish came to the northern pueblos a second time, the citizens of Pauaki fled to the neighboring pueblos. Recently, in the 1930s, Jose Antonio Tapia and family restarted the pueblo, and Pauaki Pueblo was reborn. Because of the period of time the pueblo is vacant, Pauaki Pueblo lost some of its culture, including their agricultural lifestyle. The surrounding pueblos were helpful in getting Pauaki back on its feet, and members from other pueblos married into Pauaki, which helped restart traditions and farming lifestyles. Hard work, dedication, and a love for their family were the backbone for leading this demanding life. The family in those days were large, and most of the children would help their parents in some way to live the life that they did. The kids would help weed, harvest their crops, and pick fruit from the orchard. Usually the girls helped in the house, canning fruit, cooking dinner, or even just looking after their younger siblings. The thing I most admire about this lifestyle is the support everyone showed each other. What makes it more impressive is all the work was done with very few modern appliances and tools. Just imagine spending all of your time in the fields of your crops, under the baking sun and no running water. All of it came from the river, channeled by the ditches. Plowing a two acre field with your horse and a plow, feeling every single bump. Life was very rough compared to nowadays. My favorite story that I heard was from Lucy Tafoya. She would help her father in the fields and make sure the water was coming down from the ditches. She would ride all the way to Nave Pueblo making sure that people's water gates were not open to their crops. If she saw one open, she would close it. The owners would yell and curse at her, but she stood strong and didn't back down. The most important thing to her was taking care of her family, and they needed this water to grow their food. Our lives today have changed dramatically from the lives our elders knew. Some people don't know what it actually is to do work outside and sweat a little. I believe that with this new garden project, we can have a sample of what it was like to grow food for our benefit. Although it may be a small start, in the future it promises to be a great success in realizing our past. Because of our rapidly advancing society, we will never have the experience of what it was truly like to live on a subsistence farm. But with this garden project, we will get the picture of how much work it actually was, and an absolute respect for our past generations. I am hoping that this effort will bring together the community to support each other just like a family supported each other growing up on a farm. We will learn to live, to nurture our pueblo, and trust in others to accomplish what our elders live for. We can achieve this goal because just like our past generations did, we will survive and not let the changing future dictate who we are. No, no, no.